What is up everybody? Today is the official first day of winter trout season in New Jersey. Um, every year the state of New Jersey stocks lakes uh, two days at the end of November um, to help us, you know, winter fishermen get through the winter until they, you know, stock them in the spring. Um, they haven't come by to this local lake just yet, so we're here a little bit early, but uh, Today's goal is just to get a trout. If we get more than one, that's great, but we just don't want to get uh, skunked. But while we wait, I might just throw a rod in, mess around, but here's the rig that I'll be using for today's trout video. All right, so for today's video, we're gonna keep it very simple. Um, I'm gonna have three ultra light rods rigged up. And the reason why I will have three is if you follow the channel, you know that we don't have too much time when we're fishing, so we have to make the most of every trip. Um, one will be a power bait rig, one will be a trout magnet uh, suspended jig rig, and the other will be a uh, inline spinner. But let's start with the first one. Now, this is not my favorite way to catch trout. In fact, I really don't enjoy using power bait, but... Um, I'm very big on leaving no uh, stone unturned and figure if I throw a dead stick rod out while I'm working a spinner or a trout magnet, you know, it can't hurt. Now, if you notice, I have two of these power bait vials here. Now, same exact color, which is rainbow. Um, but there's a reason why I have both these out. If you look at them, they look, they're the same exact, you know, canister same color but here's the biggest difference if you buy the just the jar of it it's 50 grams now if you buy the pre-made trout nuggets it's only 30 grams so why i'm showing you that they're the same price and you literally get almost 50 percent more not completely 50 percent but you know 20 more grams for the same price it's worth you know buying the one that's just the tub of it and you have to form it yourself. Um, how we'll be fishing that? We're gonna be using a Gamagatsu size eight octopus hook with a split shot. Now, I will show you later in the video how I rig up the bait uh, so that you have the best presentation possible. Next, we're just gonna grab a jig, throw on a trout magnet float about 12 inches above, throw a little trout magnet grub and then cast out and just jig it back to us. Hopefully we could get something on that. And probably my all time favorite, the old school inline spinner. You really can't go wrong with one of these. I mean, I'm not gonna sit here and go on uh, you know, a 10 minute rant about which color you should use. I think it varies from lake to lake, stream to stream, you know, river to river. In my opinion, if you're fishing, you know, turbid water dirtier water i like you know the brighter colors if you're fishing you know clear water i like the darker colors like if you watch the video we did at white clay creek back uh last december we did really well with black but that is you know crystal clear water whereas where i'm going is going to be pretty dirty i'm assuming so we'll probably be using one of these brighter colors but stay tuned uh, i'm going to get everything loaded up and we'll head out to the spot. All right, so we're just gonna walk back here in the woods, hopefully find a nice little spot tucked away from the wind. The wind is absolutely brutal today. I mean, we're talking, you know, 30 mile plus uh, winds. Oh man, do I really wanna start the day off getting wet? Oh, there we go but uh we're just gonna kind of walk around we got our little trout magnet that's never seemed to fail us in fresh water so give it a shot today i mean maybe i picked the wrong trail to go down because it's very narrow to say the least but hoping to pick spots that haven't been overfished. I know this uh, area where I'm at has a lot of pressure on it. So hopefully 
we could find a spot so stay tuned and we'll see what happens all right so we've kind of hit the end of the road i mean i can't really go much further without going in the water found this little submerged tree here um i'm gonna give it a shot maybe something's lurking underneath of it so we'll just cast out our trap magnet right there the wind's blowing which from left to right and should be able to move my uh my bait a little bit without me having to really twitch it too much we're going to do pitch it right out Ooh, maybe a little bit further we do have the wind in our face right now which isn't ideal but um, I know that there are fish around you just got to get the bait to them nice thing with the wind being in your face is it could kind of cover a lot more ground by blowing your bait towards you Now I know with the cooler water temperature, it does slow the bite down a tad bit, but um, most of the species that are in this lake are cool water species anyway. So I don't think it should shut down the bite completely. Now I can barely see the worm just because this water is so dirty. Slide it up. There we go, right there. Let's see if anything's lurking. Oh, look at that, look at that. Fish on. Oh, we gotta tighten the drag, a little loose. There we go. Damn, son, look at that. Look how thick that gill is, boy. Damn, son. Damn, look at that. That is one thick gill. I mean, boy. Look at that guy. Size of my hand. Now, if we were keeping fish, man, this was def this would definitely be a. Let me try and get sunlight. There we go. Be a definitely an eating size one, man. It's about like seven, eight inches. But we're gonna let him go. I thought my drag was too loose, but that actually was a pretty big gill. So, well, that's a good way to start the day. No skunk today, boys and girls. Oh, wind would slow down. All right, so when fishing with power bait, biggest key is to keep the hook uh, covered. You don't want fish to be able to really see the hook. Not that they're going to be shy of it but <clears throat> it definitely helps when you have it coated like this now what I'm doing is just taking it and kind of making a ball out of it and just making sure that it is something that can float and what I do real quick before I cast it is I'm going to drop it straight down see how it's floating right here that's good because now when we get out to the deeper spot, the split shot will sit on the bottom and the bait will be suspended up about six to eight inches. But time to sit it down, see what happens. Getting a hit. Oh, son, we got one. Let's go. Got one. Son, first trout, winter season 2020. Let's go. Ooh, let's bring him over here. I don't want to lose him. Whoa. 
Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh, there we go. Oh. Damn, son, look at that guy. Probably shoot my leg, my bad. Yeah, son. First winter trout 2020, man. Little beautiful specimen. Now, I didn't uh, wipe my hands because I am going to be harvesting this guy, so. Oh yeah. All right, we're gonna take that hook out. We're gonna throw him in this live well, buddy. Keep him somewhat fresh for the remainder of the day, or at least the remainder of the time we're here. Just gotta find a trusty ranch to hook this on that won't wash away. Uh, we're gonna hope that that one I just put right there is strong enough, but all right, man, got the first one in. Let's go get another. All right, we're gonna take another piece of power bait. See if we can't get another one. All right, let's get that out there. All right, time to sit and wait. Right, while we wait, we are gonna use a trout magnet on the other rod, but we're gonna just take our jig head and we are going to feed the little grub through and give her a shot all right so all we're doing with this is casting out and then just slowly jigging it back Spend a jig. Just had a little bit of a hit on this one. This is power bait. Just gotta be patient. Hopefully they come back. Hit. Got him. Let's go. Whoa. Well, I have no idea what this is. Tighten the drag. I have no idea. Don't feel like a trout. If this is a trout, it's a big one. Wait, we see him run? Yeah. Holy hell. I got my drag tight on this too. Sorry. Man, I was hoping this was gonna be a nice trout, but. Yeah. Oh, he snapped. Snapped your line? No. Damn. No, nah, don't be. It's not your fault. What we using for bait? Power bait. Power bait. Could have the caddy on that. All right, so we lost whatever that monster was, but we just put a new piece of power beat back on and get it back out there. Man, I would have loved to see what that was, but uh, ran into the lines to my left and ended up losing it. Well, we'll sit and wait.